In this video, we will introduce how to use the application template loading neatly arranged target objects in MechVision. Here, with this template, Vision Guided Robot can pick housings on pallets. The actual picking performance is as shown here. To achieve this, make sure to complete preliminary work first, including Vision System Hardware Setup, Robot Communication Configuration, and Hand-Eye Calibration. Then, proceed with Vision Project Configuration. The steps for configuring a Vision Project are as follows. Connect to camera and acquire images, recognize target objects, adjust poses, plan robot path, and output planned path. Of these, the first three steps are for recognizing target objects, while these two are used to plan the robot picking path. Here's a quick overview of the Vision Project Configuration. First, capture images to obtain depth maps and color images. Second, recognize target objects. In this scenario, the housings are regularly arranged without overlaps. The object point cloud exhibits no significant loss of points. Thus, simply use the 3D point cloud matching strategy to recognize the housings. Then, further adjust the object poses as the actual scenario requires. Additionally, to avoid collisions, configure the path planning step to acquire the robot waypoints. Finally, in the output step, configure the port type. This is used to send the planned robot path to the robot side for successful picking. This video will focus on recognition configuration in vision projects. Next, let's proceed with the specific operations. Open MechVision. Select Create from Solution Library. In Application Template, select Loading Neatly Arranged Target Objects and create the solution. After entering the solution interface, select Capture Images from Camera. This step is used to obtain the image data from a real camera and import the previously calibrated extrinsic parameters into the project to establish the spatial relationship between the camera and the robot. Make sure the configuration parameter group is reflective object, which should match the one configured in MechEye Viewer. Then, configure 3D target object recognition. This step integrates several vision processing functions to facilitate quick target object recognition. To begin with, set an effective ROI to improve the recognition speed and stability. The ROI should cover the entire palette and target objects on it, with an appropriate extension to accommodate slight palette position shifts. After this, generate the object model and the pick point. Due to the high picking accuracy in this scenario, the jog robot and get point cloud method is used to generate the object model. Let's look at the relevant steps. Place the target object within the camera's field of view. Ensure that the robot can pick it properly. Then, use the teach pendant to control the robot, enabling the gripper accurately to reach the expected object pick point on site. At this point, exactly record and enter the robot flange pose and gripper TCP at the pick point. Upon completing the above process, ensuring no touch between the robot and the target object, Use the teach pendant to control the robot to move away from the pick point. After that, start collecting the object point cloud. Click acquire point cloud to obtain the relevant data. Then, it can be seen that the pick point has been automatically acquired. Next, edit the point cloud model. Using the upper left buttons, select the required object point clouds and delete the irrelevant ones. After that, recalculate the object center point by using the original center point. Due to the symmetry of the object, to prevent the robot axis rotation during the picking process from leading to the picking error, enable configure point cloud model to automatically calculate the unlikely poses. These calculation results will then be used in the subsequent point cloud matching. They help to quickly filter out any poses that fail to meet the specified angular requirements. 
By now, the generation and configuration processes for the object model have been finished. Save the generated model and the pick point. At this point, rearrange all target objects onto the palette for model matching. Update the object model. Continue to configure the 3D recognition parameters. Given the scenario's high accuracy requirements, turn on the advanced mode. To further enhance the matching accuracy, utilize the extra fine matching parameter. Under Avoid False Matches, select Filter Out Unlikely Poses. This excludes poses calculated as unlikely in the target object editor to assist the matching process. Considering that the target object in this scene exhibits 90 degrees symmetry, the range value can be adjusted to 45 degrees. This adjustment ensures that the matched pose are closer to the geometric center pose of the generated model, and it deletes the matched poses with model angle deviation exceeding 45 degrees, so as to reduce the picking errors. Run the step. The object poses change accordingly. Subsequently, adjust the confidence threshold for target objects. Based on the recognition result and report, ensure maximum target object recognition while avoiding false matches. In the output, set the maximum number of successfully matched objects based on site conditions. Run the step to view the output. Configure the output ports. Here, select ports related to object center point. In addition, select preprocessed point cloud for subsequently planning the robot path. By this time, the configuration related to 3D target object recognition is completed. Then, configure adjust poses V2. Upon the object pose recognition by the vision system, this step further adjusts the picking method. First, adjust the pose orientation. Select auto alignment and align Z axis, machine tending. For this, the Z axis of the object poses will align with the positive Z direction of the robot reference frame as much as possible. Next, set the pose sorting. For the neatly arranged housings, the robot can pick up them most efficiently by following a Z shape from top left. Thus, select sort by Z shape on plane, and set the reference pose with a manipulator. Set row direction to point towards the positive x-axis of reference pose, and the column direction towards the positive y-axis. Also, configure row interval as needed. Based on the z-axis direction of the poses, set the filtering conditions to exclude obviously unsuitable poses. Configure filter by angle as required. Just keep the default here. After that, configure the output ports. Set the number of new ports to 1 for outputting objects' names matched with sorted poses. This facilitates subsequent collision detection. Navigate to the project interface. It can be seen that the Adjust Poses V2 step has additional input and output ports for receiving and outputting the object names. Connect the ports. Return to the Pose Adjustment Interface. Click Get Data to confirm that the data has been correctly acquired. The above are all configurations for adjusting the object poses. Afterwards, to increase the configuration efficiency and to avoid collisions, it is necessary to use the path planning step to acquire the planned robot path for successful picking. For specific configuration process, please watch the video Perform Picking. Now, we have completed the configurations from capturing images to adjusting target object poses. You can refer to the documentation for more operations on the Vision Project configuration.